All right. Good evening, all. It's good to have you with us um, on this evening to celebrate. We have with us um, a lady who's who's been with MDC since 2017. I think I can safely say the first affiliate in Africa. Um, she's also a fertility coach and a business coach uh, who helps ladies with the financing of their, 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 their treatment when they're going through infertility issues. She's well known to many. Her name is Amaka Nana, and we're great to have you with us. Thank you so much. With that, I, I go over to you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Warwick. Thank you, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to have us on this, or to, it's, it's an honor for me to be on the call, to have for you guys to, you know, invite me. Like he said, I've been with MDC since 2017, and um, it's been a great um, journey, a great opportunity. It's blessed my life. It's blessed the lives of so many people out there who have come in contact with me, and I shared the opportunity with them, and and they embraced it. And so it's been it's been a, it's been a beautiful journey. That I would say, not one without the ups and the downs, and it's not one that I would say is um it's is is out of place. It is normal with any business and especially network marketing. And so I'm going to share uh, my story briefly. So I'll give you a, a true picture of what, um, how, 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 you know, the journey. In 2017, 2017, I think on the 2nd of July, 2017, I was on Facebook. I was looking for an opportunity. But before, that, before now, I have been with, um, I have done network marketing. I've been in network marketing for some time, since 2009, you know, and my first network marketing was good. I, I made over $250,000 as, as a newbie. No one guided me. I just saw, I didn't even want to do, I, I came to use a product and the person that sold it said, oh, you do know you can make uh, money when you do this. You may, And I'm like, okay. I can make money, okay, let me try it. And the very first day I got my product, it blew me away, blew everyone away. And that was how I started doing network marketing. And then from there, a few things happened and we couldn't stay with the company. And one of the things that happened was um, the issue of Africa, because I've always done business with American companies. The issue of Africa came into play Oh, we would do this for Africa. I wouldn't, and I, we're like, you know what? We left. And then a lot of us moved on to the next company, both us, the Africans, us, the, the, the Americans that were in the company, we all moved to another company. And when we got there, I began building as a pioneer as well, building you know, from the scratch and uh, for the African markets. And it was good. But along the line, this same issue of Africa came up and I was like, you know what, I'm going, I'm not, I'm not even doing this. Guess what? Immediately I left, immediately I left that opportunity. Someone that we had been talking to here in the UK to join us, an, an American contacted her and she signed up. And I mean, the UK market for that particular company, I, I, I was aware, I, I carried out through the, uh, blueprints, a lot of things to get that market standing. And then I walked away and um, this lady was introduced. In five weeks, she made over $50,000 off of my sweat because it was the, the suggestions, the midnight meetings, the back and forth of uh, um, shipping products and all of that, that I, I said, I left and walked away. And this other lady comes in, everything has been laid down for her. And she just, and she called one of my, it was actually Yeni, she called her, she said, see my back office, and Yeni was like, you mean, this is what, but we were the ones that built this. And then at that point I was like, whoa, 
I knew I had kind of made a mistake. Then I went back to God and I said, God, you know what? If you, if only you can give me a second chance in network marketing, I'm not just going to be moving around based on emotions. Bring for me the emotions. Yeah, can you mute, mute someone? Yeah, okay, and I said, worry. yeah, and I said I was. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to make certain take certain drastic decisions. I need to be very, very focused and very, very um, led before I move because. I learned a lot. I realized that, look, it's like you, you get married to two husbands. There's a proverb in my place. When you marry two husbands, then you know the better one and you know the trick and you understand the whole. So I'm like, okay, you see, these people are the same father. It's just that they have different mothers. So why don't you just respect yourself and stay in one place and build? And let me tell you, from 2015, I began to pray and ask God, I need an opportunity. And then by 2017, I saw something on Facebook and I looked at it and I'm like, this looks good. And I think I, I, should, I should go for this. And I, and, I, and I went, approached the person that made a post on Facebook and the person said to me, sorry, we don't do this in, that, in the UK. We only do it in the US. And so we can't have you in our business. And I said, okay, don't worry. I'm going to find a way. I want you to pay attention to what I said. I said to her, don't worry, I will find a way. And I found a way, and that is a way that is working today for me and my business and my team. I, I don't quit on anything. I believe everything is possible, unless you don't want it. If you want something, you're going to go for it. Nothing is going to stop you. If you, if you don't want anything, you can have it. But if you really want something, you're going to find a way. And so that's how we began to grow the business. And I know that in business, there's always the up, the down, the up, the down, the up, the down. But if you understand why you're in a certain environment at a certain time, and the purpose and the reason why you're in that environment, it may make it a lot more sense for you to be able to wither the storm when it comes. And it keeps you focused on the real assignment. Why you're there? Why are you there? I understand that why I'm here is to get my CBD done. I, I'm, I understand that why I'm here is to um, get my business running. I'm, I understand that why I'm here is to help someone, show someone a way. Just like what I'm doing with my um, fertility coaching. I'm teaching people because I, I, I was infertile for 11 years. I didn't have kids until after 11 years. I did fertility treatment 10 good times. I did IVF 10 good times. I didn't do it on, on, I did it private clinics. And you, you, you do the math, you, math, you know what fertility treatments can be. And so I'm teaching you how to go make the money. And that is what I am still doing, teaching people how to make the money. People need, how, need what you have. They need the products. There is something you have. There is something MBC has put in our hands to give out to people. There is something. We have great products. You need to find a way. In fact, I had a call with the team yesterday, the Nigerian team yesterday, and I, I was sharing with them. I said, look, there was a time in the United Kingdom when we bring in our products from the US, they would confiscate it. I didn't quit. I mean, 20. 18, it was like, 2018 was like the trend. They were confiscating products and they were writing letters to individuals. If you do this, you do that, the next one you're going to jail for seven years. It didn't stop us. We were, we were moving our products. And today we have products that I can place and order the next days in my house or the next two days. And that's the same product that someone was telling me uh, if you whatever whatever seven years jail whatever whatever you know so you and I are in a at a time where you need to ask yourself why am I doing what I'm doing why am I here if you're not able to answer those questions nobody's going to answer those questions for you but when you're you're able to understand why you're in a certain environment and the purpose for which you are there it's going to make a whole lot of sense and you're always going to find a solution 
So if sales, if your sales has gone down, you're going to figure out what next am I going to do? If the sale is up, you're going to say to yourself, what else am I going to do to take it higher, to take it to the next level? So I want to encourage this market. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage all of us. I want to encourage myself as well. We are on a journey and that journey is, it never stops. One of my mentors will always say, you never stop coaching people. You never stop doing, never stop impacting. It's all about impacting people's lives with what you've got in your hands. And the question is, what do you have in your hands? Do you even realize that there's something you've got in your hands? What is that product? Listen, you can sell anything. As long as you understand the vision, as long as you understand the assignment, you can flip anything if you want to flip those things. And so I'm going to open this because I want to take a questions. I want to feel the marketplace. I want to ask, I want you to ask me some questions so that I, I could, I can um, explain a few more things and really get you to be awesome again. So any questions for me? Any questions? Nobody's got a question at the moment. How do you, you view challenges when they come across your way because we can view them from different aspects I've, I, 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 there, there, there's no challenge I can't I personally I'll crush it unless I don't want to and you see it's important to understand what you're in for if you don't have that personal conviction, that personal touch, that personal um, conversation with yourself. Why am I in MDC? I was telling my team yesterday, I said a few things to them. As I look, I, just, I, I, I took so many decisions before I even came to MDC because nobody told me anything about it. Nobody, nobody brought me to MDC. And for the way I came into MDC, it was as a result of God's intervention and direction. And so I had the moments and those times where I had conversations with myself, had conversations with God, had conversations that has helped me to wither the storm. I've had so many storms in MDC that should have made me walk away. So many from the get go, from the first day. Because when someone is saying to you, sorry, we can't do business with you because so many people, so they said, we can't do business with her because she lives in the UK. And so let me go, I wouldn't, there's so many, there's so many storms. There's so many um, bombs and there's so many bruises, but you have to always ask yourself, first of all, do you understand why you're here? And then find a way. I always want to find a way. I always want to find a way. And that has helped me. And one of the other things I do is, as much as possible, I try to um, stay to, I, I try to avoid feeding into other people's uh, emotions. Because when I feed into or flame or encourage other people's emotions, it's going to affect me. So even sometimes, I'm sure a lot of my team people will tell you, uh, she's always brushing off things. Let me tell you, 99% of the time they're, they're speaking the truth. But at that point, I need to take charge. I need to gather these things together. Put, you know, put, you're there to even guard your heart because we're all human beings. So I have to find a strategy to be able to stay sane and stay um, um, focused to guide, guide them and guard my heart. And then we can move forward. Did that help? Thank you. That's very really helpful. Thank you. I see Karen's got a hand up, so I'm going to ask her to give you a question. Mm -hmm. All right. Karen? Hi. Uh, hi, Amaka. It's Karen. So I just want to ask you, MC, MC, my daily choice is a house of blends. So what is your favorite blend? And also what sells in your country or in the UK? What do you sell most in your country or in the UK? The only, to be sincere, my brand is CBD. You can see my shirts, everything takes CBD instead of, uh, CBD, that was what brought me to MDC. When I came to MDC, some, a lot of products were in there. And um, I, I am also not a fan of all over the place. I need to, it's like 
-hmm. is, I mean, like, like, like my program is mm -hmm. women. It's clear. Fertility can be man and woman, but I went for women, strictly women, and I'm going for their, their funds. So my niche or whatever has to be specific for me. I'm not, there are people in my team, they are so good at selling those sprays. I'm not that good at flipping those sprays. The only thing I'm good at flipping is the sleep spray. I sell sleep spray very well. And then my CBD, I can close my eyes and sell whatever I want to sell. So that, these are my favorites, the sleep spray. Yesterday I went to the post office to post out some sleep sprays for some customers. And um, yeah. All right. Does Thank you so you much. Care? Thank you. Right, anybody else got a question? Please feel free and unmute yourself. Hi, Amaka. Hi, Hi. Dale. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, uh, you've always talked a little bit about this, but I'd like to, to really spend a little more time on it. You know, you have overcome so many obstacles, as I have in, in building in, in Africa. Uh, we, we know we've, we've kind of become the stepping stones that other people can walk over so they don't have to go through the obstacles that we've been, that we've been through. And because of that, um, I, I, I think because we've lived through all that and been su successful anyway, we, we're proof, we're proof or evidence to the rest of the people in Africa that, uh, let me mute that, that uh, uh, anybody can be successful in this business if they're willing to work. So Tell us a little bit more about about the obstacles you've come overcome. I know you've had pro you 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 alluded a little bit to the fact that uh, uh, you've had problems as far as selling uh, CBD oil in Nigeria. You could and then you couldn't. Uh, let people know the the obstacles we we've, we've jumped over to make it easier for them to do what they need to do today. Beautiful. I mean, um, like I said, when we started or when I started, there was no. Um, we only had peppermint flavor. That was all we had. There was no natural. There were all these things were all these fancies were in there. <laughs> there are add-ons, you know, to make the table more attractive. But we didn't have them. We sold what we had, which was the the um, the peppermint um, flavor. We've had situations with shipping. In fact, right now we have a current situation looming for the team in Africa is it's, 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 it's a crisis. We're having situations right now. Well, and that was one of the reasons why I had to have the meeting with the team yesterday. And I count them. In fact, I think at the end of the meeting, I, I, I literally had someone breathe out. It was, it was loud enough to go like, finally I've got relief, you know, excuse me. And so you're going to have shipping pr problems. You're going to have corporate problems. You're going to have times when you're talking A, the corporate <laughs> arm is talking C. And those were the things that made me leave the opportunities that I left in the past, which was two beautiful opportunities that made me over half a million, uh, yeah, half a, a quarter of a million dollars in, in less than 2020, 20, uh, 2009 and by 2015 for someone that, and I wasn't doing most of these businesses. By two, I stopped the first opportunity in 2011 because I had to go give birth and I didn't start again until 2014. So it was more like, I, I didn't have like two years like that to make the kind of money I, I made. But I walked away because I'm saying some things and the corporate people are saying whatever it is they want to say. I, it, I wasn't getting it, but as I grew, as I understood the game, I was like, okay, this is how this game is done, is played. Okay, I'm going to play with them. And also that was why when I started with MDC, I wasn't keen on certain things. There were certain things I didn't want to get involved with, especially on the corporate level and all of that. And it kept me sane because I now have experienced it before and I didn't want to be a part of it going on with where I want to be long-term. So you're going to find yourself thinking, oh, these people don't want to listen to me. It's not that they don't want to listen to you, but they have their own struggles. They also have their own. You see, there's something I said to, the, to my team. I said, do, do you think you need this money more than Josh and his wife and his family? <laughs> they need this money more than you and me. They want to make, they want to probably buy 10 private jets. But if they are saying, no, 
No, there is something there. Who told you that? They want to make money. To be sincere, I don't think anybody wants to make more money more than that because this is their company. They are the ones producing. They are the ones. We are more like down the ladder. And so when I say this to people, a lot of them may not understand it, but that's the truth. And so if they're saying to us, X, Y, Z can happen. I'm saying to myself, what is happening? I'm going to work with what is happening. And I'm going to make it great for me. One way or the other, I'm going to find a way. So it's all about you finding a way. In Africa, we 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 had to find a way to 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 get the products in. We had to we had we had crisis, and we're still having crisis. But you still see people who understand what they want. And MDC has great products. That's the thing. Because of the great products, those products are the pillars holding. A lot of us. And so we are there because great products are there. And if you don't have great products, you're not going to, you, 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 there's nothing, there's nothing. The product has to be good. It has to be, it has to be serving. And this product serve. I was telling my team, I said, I can't remember the last time I, I, I did certain things since I came to MDC because I've been using the products. I've not been using certain things I used to use before. So I don't even know how I will ever try those things again in my life. Because I've, for this almost five years, I've been using this product. And so you're going to also have a situation where, I want to touch on this because it's very important. It's, it's, it's just like um, saying, no God for yourself. And I keep insisting, I keep repeating this. If you understand why you're in a place, you won't be moved around by anyone's emotions. Let me tell you something. When I saw MDC on the on that second of um, July, second of July, twenty seventeen, I never forget this date. Second of July, twenty seventeen, I went to two people, two ladies that I I uh, that I uh, that I am in touch with, and I said to them, um, "I have found an opportunity, and this is what it looks like." And they said to me, "Go, we will not do this business with you." That's what they said to me. You see, and then remember they're saying, these are people I talk to literally two, three times a day. And they're saying to me, go, we won't do this opportunity with you. If I want actually said to me, God has not called us to do things together, but because on this occasion, I'm not going to be a part of what you're doing. And on this other end, I've got um, the company and the offline saying to me, we can't do business with you. So I was all by myself, all by myself. And then, um, Long story short, I carried on. I carried on. Now, when I did network marketing the first time, my very first check was, I think, 1300 or 1400 I know I post it on Facebook a lot. But it was over $1,000. First, first check. And then I come over to this. The other company was $3,000-something. By then, I had done a bit of network marketing. Then I come over here. My first check is $34. I should have gone. That alone should have made me go. Go, I mean, go, because the issue, I would have said, said, this is a sign that the devil even doesn't want me to be here. So keep running. But I said, I said to myself, I'm going to turn this $34,000 to $3,000, I want to make sure I get it into, you know, I just told my, I had to encourage myself. I had just myself to speak to, to encourage myself, to push. And you know what? Six months later, these ladies that told me, oh, we're not doing this with you. If I, one of them was so smart, what she did was she went and said, okay, give me your login stuff. Let me sign up. So she signed up and left her account and walked away. But six months later, they came back and they said, now we've been watching you. Now we're ready to do the business. And today, both of them are 50K affiliates in MDC. So, so, so you can imagine if I had quit on it, and built my business on their emotions. So a lot of us in business, we build our business based on other people's opinions and other people's emotions. But if you understand the mission, do you understand the assignment? Do you understand the call? For me, God brought me to MDC. Everything I do, I believe in God and I believe in his direction and I allow him to lead me. And um, I believe he brought me to MDC at the time he did. 
for a reason, for a purpose. And I still believe there was a reason why he, he, he didn't let those people come with me when they did, when they didn't want to come with me. So everything works well, but you need to be sensitive. Be careful how you move around with people's emotions. Be convinced, first of all, in your heart of hearts that this is what I need to do. I tell my team all the time, I call them and I say to them, listen, take a decision. Are you sure you need to be here? Go and have some time with God and ask him, do you want me here? Not everybody's going to be in the embassy. Yeah, validated with, with logic. Some will stay, some will go, but don't move around based on other people's emotions. Find out what your calling and your direction and your instruction is so that you don't make certain mistakes that I made in 2015, especially. Did that help what you? About, what about yes, the people? Thank, you thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you were saying something. What about the people you choose to mix with the market? How much difference do they make? The people you choose to mix with. Well, yes, that's right. You see, it's it's all about iron sharpening iron. You have to also decide. It's just like children, teenagers. You're going to speak to them. They also will decide. I'm going to be hanging out with this person. But you would also ask yourself, this person I'm hanging out with, how is this helping my situation? <laughs> you know, there's one funny thing that happens. A lot of people come. You see somebody that'll say to you, "I'm not going to do this again." I'm not. And then once they say it, so many people go with them. Oh, they're not doing this. But guess what? From behind, they're doing their authorship. Behind, they're still running their business. But they've misled so many people out there. So you need, that's why I keep saying, what are you hearing? What, I, what do you know? Where, who, do you understand why you're in a place? If you don't understand why you're in a place, you're just going to be all over the place and you're nowhere. And for me, like I said, I've realized that most of these companies are literally almost the same. The difference is that they have different mothers, but it's one father <laughs> that, that created all of them, but they have different mothers. So you have to choose because it's the same energy that you're going to use to start. It's like, it's like manual labor. You start again, you start winding the engine and start, you know, trying to build up, build up, build up. And for me, I don't think I have that time to keep jumping around. I'm not saying I'm going to die in MDC. I'm not saying anyone is going to die here, but there are people that when you listen to their story, they'll tell you that they've been with a company for 14 years. And also, let me, say, let me share this with you. When I came to MDC, remember I was coming from a place where I, I, I was saying, God, just give me a second chance. And um, I was hoping that I was going to be making $100 in MDC. Believe you me. That was what I thought. Because I've never heard the name. My daily choice. Initially, I was like, what kind of name is this? My daily choice. Okay, now we are here. No, these people are not serious. It's $100, but I was okay because I wanted a, a place. I just wanted it. It's like you want a roof over your head. You understand the concept of network marketing. I understood that. And I had blown my chances in the past. So I wanted a home where I could just stay. That was all I wanted. So when I came and was $100, you're now seeing $10,000, you're seeing, I'm like, oh, wow. But in my heart of hearts, and that is why when things go south or go the other way, I say to myself, remember you came here for $100. Don't rush out. Remember you came here for $100. Have you got $100 yet? Stay, just, just stay calm. Because I know that there are people in certain companies so many companies, I don't want to, let me, let me just mention one of them. Mary Kay, I know there's so many of them because I have friends there. They don't make, they don't make that kind of money, but they are there. You, you're speaking to them. They're like, I've been here for 15 years. I've been here for six years. I've been with Mary Kay. I'm like, what I want to pay you? And then they will open some small box and show me the income, six pounds, six pounds. I'm like, Paul, to, to pull the suitcases all over. London and move into people's homes and go to post office for six dollars something six pounds something and so when I think of those people and I'm like if they're satisfied and they're focused and they're just doing what they're doing I can as well find a home for myself for network marketing stay there while I do my other businesses and do 
my network marketing business. So you have to be careful. First of all, you need to understand, you need to have a, you need to have a personal touch conversation with yourself. Why am I here? Why am I doing what? If you, if you can't answer that question clearly clean, you can't, you just have, you just need to have clarity. And once you don't have clarity, you'll be all over the place doing nothing and thinking you're busy or you're doing nothing. And you're going to get frustrated. Did that help? Mm-hmm. Hello? Yes. Any more questions? Un- unmute yes. yourself, Warwick. I've, I've unmuted myself. Hello, mm-hmm. Amaka. Thank you Hi. so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're really You're helping us down here in Kenya. My name is Elizabeth, and uh, we are very, very proud of you for what you are Thank doing you. out there. And uh, I can hear you have challenges. I thought we are the only one. So I'm excited to know that uh, those challenges are there and you are able to overcome. Just a question for you. E, because you have been in the game for a while, from 2017, you have been, been in MDC. Now, if you are building, are you building also in Africa and in the UK? How do you put keep your team together? How do you... Do you visit them or do you teach them on a day-to-day basis? Or how do you keep the relationships? How do you keep your family together, your MDC team? Um, it's, it's, it's family, like you rightly said. It's um, like um, you talk to them. We have groups. You talk to them. You send, you send messages. You let them know you're here. You, in fact, yesterday... Um, we had crisis. I personally, for some time, have been quite busy with my stuff. And, um, but when the, this crisis kind of, you know, so I was having another discussion with another leader. And um, at some point I said, listen, I need to talk to, to my children. In fact, I think that was the word I said. I said, I need to talk to these people. I need to, they need to hear my voice. And it, quickly I said, are you setting up a call? Or who is setting? So I set up the call, send it out. It wasn't planned. Set it out. And to be sincere, that, that, that put the house together. That put the house together by the time we were doing it last night, you know? And, and, to be sincere, and also you connect with them. This is the world is a global village now. I'm talking to you, I'm in London, you're where you are. You have to plan yourself. When I began, um, when, my, my, when my calendar began filling up quickly, especially this year, I, I told I told some of the leaders, I said, you see, this is how I'm going to commit to the team come this year. I'm going to do this on certain times, certain days. This is how I'm going to work. So I know that when is that time? It's been slotted out for the team. I'm going to get that job done. You know, now it's, I mean, before I started this call, I had my slot for my Tuesday for a live I need to do in one of my Facebook groups. This is a slot once this week and I have to do it. So I've done it. So it's all about time management, figuring out all the components that make up your business, that make up your team and how you serve them. And you also look out for the people that need you, that appreciate what you're offering them. And then you channel your energy to them and your business will grow. Oftentimes, one of the things that kill us and drain us and overwhelm us is because you're going to look for the dead um, legs, the people that are sleeping, some of them may never wake up. Go and find other people. And, and, and one beautiful thing, I, I started teaching the team last year and I think um, somewhere along the line, I think either November or, I can't remember, I think between November, Jenna came on the call and talked about it. And I went back to the team and I said, you see, I didn't talk to Jenna, we don't talk, but this is what I'm saying to you guys is what she just said on the call. And that is what I think we should be doing. A lot of people really want to go out and get downlines. People downline. Listen, it takes more energy as opposed to get people to use the products. Because in MDC, whether you're downline, affiliate, or you're the other one, you will still get pay the same amount. And so many people don't like that word. Register, sign up, join us. 
down like it, it scares them. I know nobody wants to be sold to. I love Range Rover, but right now, if Range Rover is the last thing on my mind. So if a Range Rover staff comes and says, hey, we checked out whatever, the last time you were with us was uh, now can, we've got this range, can you? I personally, this, my state of mind right now, I'll tell them, don't call me again. I don't want to be sold. I don't want Range Rover. I don't want it. The same thing with CBD, with the same thing with the sprays. And nobody wants to be sold to. But everybody wants to taste something. So if I come to you now and say, they say, ah, if you try this sleep spray, I used it last night before I slept. Yesterday, no, early this morning, I was somewhere. I, re, I usually don't comment in certain posts and forums on Instagram. I usually don't. But in this particular situation, I had to. This guy is one of the known people in Nigeria, and he made a post about um, a lady that was lying down and probably period pain, and he, she, he said something about period pain. I went past that post. I came back. I went. I said, "Listen, you have to break protocol." So I went there and I said some beautiful things about why CBD would just help the situation. Now people want to taste it. Women want to taste it. Everybody wants to taste this product because it could help um, get them some relief and all of that. So look out for problems to solve <laughs> instead of selling to people. People don't want to be sold. Sold to. So you're saying to them. You're looking out for, oh, my head is doing this. But there was something I used that something, 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 something. Don't make the medical claims. Or you know how to sell your, your gig. And then you're saying, this is this. And they will say, I want it. It's easier to convert people that way. And you keep them there. They are buying steadily. I have people that, their job, I know that. I, I have people that I supply to every month. In fact, I have a particular lady. She's on my, she she has, a, she, she can come and buy and pay me twice because, and she's been doing this for like, for more than two years now, more than two years. So I know, I know how, I know her routine. I know that by the first of next month, she will run out of the supply I gave her. Then she's going to come and then she's going to take three bottles and then she's going to pay me for one. And then by the next month, I think she's on benefit. So as the benefit is coming, she's giving me mine and taking, you know, so there's, there's a pattern. People need this product. Show them the beauty of it, look out for problems. All I do is look out for problems. I'm not here to sign you up to become X, Y, Z, but when you come and you taste the food and it tastes so good, you're going to say to me, how do I get started? How do I get started? But most times when you start saying, you need to start and sign up and do like this and do like that, they get scared that you want to sell to them and they don't want to be a part of what you're doing. Did I help you? Elizabeth? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Thank you. And, um, and when you're connecting with them, connect with them from a sincere place. Care for them. People want to know that you really care for them. Care for them. Um, give value. Don't be that leader that give value. Give Just give value. Once you give value, they know that you understand what you're talking about. They're going to come. They are, they, are, they are going to come. Be 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 there, and and also know how to be firm. Know when to. In fact, the other day I had to get someone out of the group because, but to be sincere, I couldn't. As I was doing, I was like, "Oh my lord!" But someone else on somewhere else was like, "I'm like, this person has to get out of because this is what this person has done," and I didn't know who he was. When I figured out who he was, I was like, "Oh lord." Another test of my leadership skills, but I've got to get the job done. And I did it. It wasn't what I wanted, but you know, you know, you get what I mean. So it's it you you just need to nurture, um, get them, work with them, answer their questions. I work all literally round the clock. It's there, there were there were days, there were times for months. I don't sleep on the last day. My team will tell you I don't sleep on the last day. Once is the last day of the month. I don't. There was a day um, my husband and I were talking on the phone. It's about one o'clock too. And he said, okay, good night. I said, he said, go and sleep. I said, I can't sleep because someone is going to need my help. I'm not saying everybody should do this, but I'm just trying to tell you how much um, that, that all these things will take from you and you have to give and you have to take. And I said, someone is, soon, someone is going to need my help. And so I can't afford to. I had hit my goals. 
I had hit my goals. I wasn't waiting for that, but I had hit my goals for the month. So I said, it wasn't up to 10 minutes. Someone here in the UK said, hey, sis, please, can you give me X, Y, Z, transfer to me tomorrow, I'll pay you back. I need to place my order, I need to. I said to my husband, did you hear what I, are you hearing this call on this other end? I told you, this is like 2 a.m. And I had to solve that problem just to help someone um, get that extra income, feel good, fulfill their dreams and get what they want for themselves. So it, it takes a lot of commitment um, and asking God to also direct you. Leadership and running a team is not easy. I'm going to take one more question because I have a class that will start at seven in the next 15 minutes. I need to prepare my for that class. So one or two questions that I can run out and go get that start sorted. So you can take one. Yeah, one or two. I'll try. All right, let's see. Because I'm watching the time. So um, is there anybody that would like to take a question or, or give a question to a market? Uh, can I ask one more question, please? Yes. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Yes. I'm amazed. Amaka, you are just an amazing woman and you are the Thank leader you. we need down here. Now, if you have some teams in Africa regarding what has been happening of late, people quitting, joining other companies, I mean, it's like a, a bit of a mess. How are you managing to help these people or what are they doing like in Nigeria or another place that you have to, to order, to get paid, you know? What is it? How are you helping them with the challenges that are happening right now? People moving out and uh, they, they want offices closing down, uh, products not coming in. H how are you managing this, Amaka? I need help. Yeah, remember, when, if, you, if you were here when I started, when I started this business in 2017, there was no office anywhere. The only office was in the in the U, US. There was no office, but I found a way. I had to ask myself, if I wanted to buy shoe and bag from the US, how do I get it in? That's it. It's my business. You see, the moment you start taking away this thing as the team, the leader, the upline, the downline, my upline, I... I, I <laughs> I, I have an upline, but I, I, she's, you're not going to say, um, I am my upline. Does that make sense? I think that's the better way to put it. So I'm not waiting on the upline to tell me what. I understand the mission. I understand what, what, what I'm into. I have a goal. And another thing that makes people to quit all the time is they don't have a goal. I have a goal to probably go to the U.S., and I need to raise the money for these tickets. So you're going, be going. I need to go look for who buy stuff because I need to buy these tickets. I set goals. And I've set so many goals for myself since I came to MDC. And by God's grace, it's, in fact, I have a particular goal now. I was pondering over this morning or this a few hours ago. I was like, wow. To think that I'm going to tell the story of this and I'm going to look back and say, MDC funded this. Interesting. You know, so yeah, you all, you have to, I mean, it's something I could have done, but I always say to myself, X, Y, Z should pay for this. MDC should pay for the phone I'm using because I'm using it to make a call, MDC call. So it will be calm for me to go get money elsewhere. So what do I do? I need to hustle my business so that MDC can pay for the calls I'm making because this is the business. So you need to set goals and you need to stop looking at the people that are moving around. They move around in all companies. That's what I want you to know. This movement is in all companies. I know a particular company, <laughs> it's like they pull the rug. <laughs> it's like they pull the rug. And this is like the second time it's happening in this company. It's like they pull the rug and it's like they want to kill this particular leader. It's like, whoa, pull the rug. And when we leave, we're going to see where you're going to be talking about millions and millions of dollars. I, but you know what? Because she understands her goal. She's, she, she just has a way of building it back, building it back, building it back. And oftentimes, most of the people that leave, will all, some of them will trickle back and say, oh, we made a mistake, we need to come back. And some never come back. But you need to understand why you're here. If you understand why you're here, you understand that this is not about Josh and Jenna, this is not about upline. This is about a business you solve for yourself. You want to find a way to 
what are the products that are allowed in your country? You sell them. Do you know that there are some companies, all they have now, one market is just two products. And they, are, and they are creating millionaires in those companies, just two products. Here we have too many products all over the place. Figure out what your market needs. Like I understood the game of sleep spray and I've stopped with sleep spray. I sell sleep spray all the time. I sell sleep spray. I figured it out. And that's what I, I don't like too many things all over the place. I figured out my sleep spray, my CBD oil. I hold it there to my heart. I sell it. I sell it to random people and people are buying. Yesterday, when I went to post it, I went to a, a business center. I called the guy, the owner. I said, you see this spray? Look at it. That's what you should be selling in this shop. He said, okay, we'll talk about it. Somehow I've said it. He has seen sleep. If the day he, and that guy gives me customers. He's Asian. He will get customers going back to Pakistan. He will tell them about CBD. They will come and buy from me. At some point, I took my CBD to his shop. I told my team, I took the pictures. I, I said, please put it in this your store. So that when people are passing, they can see. He, he, he did. And after a while, he now gets customers. Sometimes he'll tell me, um, put some profit for me and we'll do it, but I'm selling. So you, so you need to find where you're going to specialize in and do it. Stop looking at the people that are moving around. Some of them are not even happy. Some of them want to be where you are. Some of them want to wish they never left. Some of them are like, I just allow my emotion, emotions to overrule me. I shouldn't have gone. I should have remained. Once again, I'm not saying everybody's going to die in the MDC, but there is always a time and a proper way of doing things and not being in a haste and getting things done. Did that answer your question? To Zamaka, I hope one of these days we will have you again for more questions. You yes, have really please. been of great yes. help. Yes, thank you. And I think we'd love to we'd love to hear from you when that thing that MDC is going to pay for actually happens. Yes. I'll know. It's just, it's just that today I have to run. I have a class I need to start oh. in the next one hour. But whatever yes. I think, I can plan for days when I'm, I don't have um, um, a class. But usually these Absolutely. days, my we'll evenings are booked. Thank you so much, Marka. It's really been a yeah. pleasure to have you with us. And Thank we you. wish you all of Thank you God very much. You. All right. Take care. All right. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Stop recording.